welcome back to my channel. You know what it is. It's cooking with me, Anta. Yes. And today we will be making potato grains. All right. That's what I'm going to be showing you guys. This was actually my first video that I made on this channel. I did it in the palm oil, but today I will be doing it in the olive oil. And I'll be showing you guys another way of doing it. Because the first time I did it, I had to slice it with my hands. That's a technique that we use. But this time I will be putting it in the blender to like give you a little more easier process for the non-Africans or other Africans that just don't feel comfortable doing it. So stay right there, don't leave, because I will be walking you through this process really fast and easy, okay? Stay right there and let's get this started. To start, I will go ahead and get my potato green wash. I will first run a water and then I will add in some salt and I will let the potato grain sit in the salt water for about five minutes. And this process that I do by adding salt, it helps kill every germs and also increase the flavor for the potato grains. Once I get it cleaned up, now it's time to get to the next dish. Um, most Liberians will go ahead and chop this into smaller pieces. They will cut it. We have a technique that we use to cut our grains. But I wanted also to show an easier process on how to do this. I'm going to go ahead and put it into my Ninja food processor. And I'm going to blend these. And I will be making it a fried put to the grain. Once I put it into the um, blender, I'm gonna blend it. As you can see, this is how it will come out once it's blended. As if you wanna see another way of doing it, watch my first, first YouTube video. I did the potato grains before, but I did this with a palm oil and you will see the process as well. It's a little bit different from this, um, but yeah, it's another way to do it as well. Now that I'm done blending it, it's time to get it fried. First, I'm going to heat up the oil for about one to two minutes. And once the oil is heated up, now it's time to go ahead and put in the grain. I'm going to fry it for two to five minutes first. Once I fry it for two to five minutes, I'm going to go ahead and add in my seasoning at this time. As you can see, I'm going to put in all the ingredients that we will be using to cook this meal. Now it's time for my meat and protein and every other thing that I'm going to put into this meat. As you can see, I like to prep everything prior to cooking. I've already boiled um, my meat and stuff and I'll go ahead and add them into the potato grains. Once I add in all the meat and everything else, I will let it cook for another 5 to 10 minutes and I'll give you a good stir. Now that you can see the potato grain is ready to go, I will give it another step, cook it again for another five to 10 minutes and we should be ready to get it served. 